All right, it's a brand new year, and I'm pretending like it's still October. It's pretty much October for me because I'm a big horror fan. And what I would love to see on a Nintendo Switch for the 2020 is four of my favorite horror games ported to the Switch. And yes, they're ports, but they're awesome, awesome games, and I would love to see them on the Switch. And let me know if you guys love horror games or any game on this list you agree you would love to have on the Switch. I'm going to get into it right now, so kick back, relax, and let's get into the video. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We're talking about four horror games I want on the Switch and I cannot wait until it happens. And one out of the four has to happen. I'm going to be very upset if it doesn't, but I'm excited. I'm talking about stuff that I enjoy, guys. And for you guys actually watching the video and coming back and enjoy, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys for, to for tuning in every time and taking in my videos, man. So yeah, the first one on the list I'm going to start off with is Dead Space. Dead Space is one hell of a game. I like when that game came out in, in 2008. That game scared the hell out of me. I always had interest for it. I always wanted to play it, but I was so damn scared. And when I got the chance to play it, I was still scared, but it was such a phenomenal game. It played well. The story was awesome. The, the creepiness of the Ishimura, the Ishimura ship, that's how, you, that's how you pronounce that word, Ishimura. Yeah, the ship was just awesome. It silence, very creepy. That's a very atmospheric game, but does. It really does, does, does put life into the horror, the survival horror genre. The game is like such a milestone, such a pinnacle of like the horror, the horror genre. People love that game. I love that game. It's a one of the closest horror games to my heart, man. I love the I love the Dead Space series, and I love Dead Space One. That's the one I'm talking about. But I'm actually a bigger fan of the second Dead Space. Dead Space Two was the game that I played countless times. I loved it, man. One of my favorite horror, survival horror games. A collection would be nice, but like I say like I say over and over again, they're probably never going to release a full collection on the Switch. They're going to do it like Capcom and release these games solo by themselves. So I'm hoping for Dead Space 1 and for Dead Space 2 because two those two games are just two phenomenal games. Dead Space 3, surprisingly, even though it wasn't the best one, but it's a good co-op game. It was almost like that Dark Horse. It's almost like Resident Evil 5 that people like, but they're not like a super big fan of it. And for the Nintendo Switch, it's a it's a game, it's a console you play with people. You know, you meet up with people, you play online. It's it's awesome and Dead Space 3 would actually fit this console really really well cuz Dead Space 3 is pretty good. And those graphics are awesome and the, the Switch can hold can more than more than run the first Dead Space and Dead Space 2 and probably Dead Space 3 also but I think Dead Space 3 has a lot more like graphical fidelity to it but it should definitely work out so I am I would love Dead Space on the Switch man let me know what you guys think down below all right the next one Fatal Frame this is a game I would love on the Switch this is a game I got into super late I remember finding this game online and watching a bunch of YouTube videos and I got super just fascinated with the game I got it, it was almost like me being fa infatuated with the game. I just wanted to watch a bunch of gameplays. I wanted to read up on the story. I love stories and games like this. And it's a Japanese horror game. A well put together Japanese horror game. A Japanese horror is creepy. It has a very eerie vibe to it. It's creepy. It's pretty much about a girl that has a camera. And they, they exercise ghosts with the camera. And it makes it really creepy. Because most of the time it's a very claustrophobic type of feeling. You have to basically face that face what you're scared of you can't run away there's no hiding you have to fight but the whole game has a really great pacing and it's just i don't know it's, it's just well it's well crafted and that alone feeling is there it's creepy it gives you goosebumps and i love it i'm a horror fan and i absolutely love love that game and it would fit so well on the switch the first fellow frame and the second one the second one is my favorite one i would love a remake or just a port to the Switch or a brand new Fatal Frame series on the Switch because apparently the person behind the, the, the Fatal Frame series said that he is interested in you know making a brand new Fatal Frame game for the Switch. So that's probably going to happen more than likely. But in the meantime, it wouldn't be bad to get some of the ports. I know I always talk about ports. I'm I for one, I don't mind ports. I really don't because if they're great games, they deserve a, se a second chance on the Switch because so many people have this console. So that would be... That's great. Fail of Frame, man. It's it's a great game. Very creepy. Very eerie. But I absolutely love it. All right. Here is the next game that's really close to my heart. Very close to my heart. It's a game called Alan Wake. This game came out way back on the Xbox 360. And this game, I always had an interest in it. And when I finally got to play it, I really, really liked it. The story was awesome. The gameplay was awesome. One of my favorite elements of the game is the way how the nighttime environment is. I'm a big fan of how the nighttime is, is, is created, the way how it looks in the game. 
it's really creepy when it gets dark you can hear like the wind howling in your ear you can hear like the, the darkness around it really gives you that that scary feeling you remember when, you, when you're like a kid and you're outside and it's dark and it feels like the darkness is just closing in, closing in on you the sound effects along along with the visuals really give you that feel when you're playing the game and I love that. Alan Wake is awesome. And the good thing about the game, it's it has such a well-written story. It's awesome. It's about a writer. And he's just a, he's just a writer. He's not like a action hero or anything. He's just a writer. He can't really do much. But the, the, the way how the game mechanic is, is basically light against dark. You're a writer. You're, you're all in the middle of the forest. And pretty much your horror story as a writer in the game, it comes to life. And you have to fight enemies off with pretty much a gun and a flashlight. It might sound silly, but the combat is actually really satisfying along with a really good story. So you have a flashlight, you're trying to burn the burn the darkness off the enemies, and then you use your gun and shoot them after the darkness is already broken. So it has a really cool game mechanic with a really awesome story. And I think it's just a great game. One of my favorite horror games. I've, I've beaten this game multiple times for the gameplay for the story and i just love the night the nighttime environment the pacing and the way how it feels when you're out there in the wilderness walking around has such a good atmosphere and it looks open world it gives you the illusion of an open world but what i like about it it doesn't have like like basically smoke and mirrors every environment you see in a distance in this game you can go there the only thing about this game is that it's, it's structured in like a linear fashion but it's not but it's yeah it's a it's structured in a linear fashion but you can go to every destination you see on the map you just go there one at a time through different chapters and i think that that's what makes a really well crafted game like i said before in my previous videos you don't have to have an open world game to create a, a great game you can create a, a well constructed linear game with a lot more substantial stuff within it what makes the game awesome and Alan Wake is one of those games and I love Alan Wake man it's a game that's super close to my heart I love horror games there's a certain level of tension and goosebumps horror games can give you not it's not everybody's everybody's thing but I love it man so let me know what you guys think about Alan Wake coming to the switch I would definitely love that and the fact that Remedy owns the right for Alan Wake completely now that's 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 like one way that's actually a big 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 chance that it could actually come to the switch so i'm looking forward to it let me know what you guys think down below okay here's the next game on the list one of my favorite horror games it could actually be my favorite one or second to last i i do not know i just love these four games but this is the last one on the list number four is but evil within i love this game recently i forced one of my friends online to play it and he live streamed it he loves it phil if you're watching i know you i know you had a hard time with that game it's challenging it's creepy but it's such, it's an amazing ride. It's an awesome game. I love it. If I got out on the Switch, oh my God, I would just play it over and over again. Because this, this is my buddy right here, man. I bring this thing. If, if I have a business trip, if I have to do any type of business where I have to wait for a while, I don't mind waiting. I just got my Switch. I'm good. I'm good. I will play that game over and over again. And that's not Dead Space, almost a Dead Space. Um, Evil Within is such a good crafted game. It's a horror game. It's very, it's very confusing. It's a very confusing story, but the gameplay is very difficult. It's a difficult game, but requires a lot of patience, a lot of patience, and a lot of like willpower because you will get your ass whooped in this game. But it's also very satisfying if you get past certain chapters. It's a 14 chapter story, very creepy enemies, challenging combat, extremely satisfying combat also. You, you get a headshot with a shotgun, it feels amazing. You take on your enemies, it's it's amazing. You have a lot of different ways to take out your enemies and play the game. You know, stealth, straight up action, you know, be super sneaky. The, the there's even a mechanic in the game with a with a um, with a match with a match. You can light light like bodies on fire and stuff like that. It's a satisfying gameplay. It's not for everybody. This is a game that's a lot more harder to get into. But if you give it a chance and actually play, you might actually end up loving it. The enemy designs are awesome super creepy you will definitely get have nightmares playing this game if you're not used to horror games you don't like them but i'm a big fan of it man i, I love it I, I played this game this game came out in 2014 i loved it i played the heck out of it man i even beat the game on the hardest difficulty akuma i loved it man but if you guys love this video comment down below tell me if you actually agree or tell me some different horror games you would love to see on the switch but those are my four horror games that i definitely want to see on the switch because i love i love those games but anyway I, I appreciate you guys watching the video for all you guys watching the video every time i post you guys are the homies man you guys are the supporters and this, and this is why i'm going to keep doing this and 
I want to thank you guys for sharing all my videos because I've never gotten this many shares on my on my videos before. It's it's amazing. So I'm really happy I, I took this this complete 180 turn with my with my channel because I'm enjoying doing this, man. This, this is a ball. But anyway, guys, comment down below and I see you guys in the next one, man. Take it easy.